Hi, welcome to Fuma Tech. This is my new channel. Uh, my name is Juan Diaz. This is my 2005 Jeep Liberty. Uh, right now it's a stock engine. Um, we start trying to make it the faster Liberty in the whole world. Uh, we started making 18.4 in a quarter mile and now we're making 14.3, uh, 4.4 in a quarter mile, about 91.52 miles per hour. That's a stock engine, uh, 3.7. Uh, we're running with 100 shot of nitrous. And the last time we have a little bit the issue with the backfire and everything run out. Uh, let me open here to show you that. You see all the hood burn. Um, this is this is a result of a hundred shot of nitrous with the coal engine and too much degree on it. Uh, everything was burned. I already removed the uh, intake. It's completely blow up in pieces. Uh, everything is burning. I remove all the wire, burn up. But uh, in order to achieve our first goal to making the Jeep Liberty run faster in the world, uh, we're not gonna make it with that engine. So after this happened, we took the decision to swap another engine. Let me show you what I can. This is gonna be the new engine for the Jeep. It's a 2JZ GE. Uh, I know everybody's gonna say it's a rock uh, weak rod, but it's gonna be fully built rod pistons, uh, probably 276 cams on it. Uh, so, this is the new engine for the Jeep, and that one I think is gonna power enough to achieve that goal to making the Liberty, Liberty more faster in the whole world. Uh, today my plan is just take the assistant engine out put that one the way it is because I have it with the factory transmission and trying to set out all the engine mounts and everything so stay tuned I'm gonna record in the whole process so you guys are gonna see what I do what I made what I achieve what I fail <laughs> you know it's gonna be a lot of failing but that's part of the deal uh, the ECU is not gonna be factory anymore. It's gonna be a fuel tech. I think the six FT 600 Because uh, I need to control the engine and the transmission. So that's the that's pretty much What about this project it is now um, something different? Uh, I think it's gonna be the first one in the world the Jeep Liberty have the 2JZ on it but This is what we trying to achieve so let me put everything together, get the tools and everything, and I'm gonna record in the whole process for you guys. It's gonna be split in different videos against whatever we progress in, in the project. I need to I need to take the engine out because I don't have the like a mini car when I bring in, and I use my. <laughs> it's gonna be a little confused between language because I'm coming from Puerto Rico, so I gotta think. I don't know how to say it in English, but this is the thing that like bad with wheels you using to go under the cars and do the mechanic stuff. So that's what I use to move the engine around, pushing around because I don't have the the engine hoist before. I have it now, so I'm gonna put it out in one way so I can get my car back again, go under the Jeep, uh, drain the transmission. I'm not worrying about the drain the engine. Uh, by the way. This is the engine back then. Uh, so, so far, this cylinder is completely dead. That one is completely dead. And that one is uh, coming back and forward, back and forward. So, it's not the point to fix that one. Uh, I think I have like 300 horsepower in that one, maximum. Uh, I have issue with the, with the uh, suspension in the back, but we fixed that issue and that's what we the accident happened <laughs> this happened so we hope that one's gonna be better now so stay tuned.
so I gonna take out the dry chaff because I need this end I'm gonna disassemble this one also when I got it outside to keep it here in order to prevent to start leaking oil when I put the whole transmission because I, I intend to take the transmission and the engine in one shot so hold on Yeah, so see, this is the factory ones. Look at this. It's been holding the Jeep 300 horsepower for, damn, almost seven months. Seven months every weekend. That's crazy. I'm not gonna need this now. complete <laughs> see it's not going anywhere so that way I can take the whole engine out and it's not gonna leaking and making a mess in the floor right here because by the way this is my dry through this is where I make all the magic happen <laughs> okay so next step we're gonna remove the support for the transmission here and Take all this out, remove all the sauce. We're not gonna use it anymore. Remove whatever wiring survive down here. Unplug it and get ready to pull everything out. Oh, this is my AM uh, fuel ratio gate. This is what survived for the fire. So yeah, this is this is it. It was, it was bad guys, it was bad. Alright, so I removed the transmission support. Let me go back it up. See the whole thing, this bolt, it was bad, it was stuck in sand. Because I was using for off-roading before the Jeep. So I need to cut it, I need to find a way to replace that one later. Of its size, is everything good? So you can see a little bit of damage, all the burning stuff over there. So I'm gonna remove the majority of the wires are gonna be cut. I don't mind; it's wasting any time. But unhook the transmission 
uh, cable over there, take the oil lines off, take this manifold uh, exhaust completely off, and we should be good except for the two mounts in the front over there. Thank God I delete the differential on the front, so now it's easy to work. And we should be good to pull this baby out.